Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. This is 5 Fun Facts in 5 Minutes and in Volume 1 we're taking a look at a beat em up that inspired a genre, Street Fighter 2. In the US and European releases of Street Fighter 2, the game had one noticeable Japanese translation error. On Ryu's victory screen it stated, you must defeat Shang Long to stand a chance. Many people thought that this was a hidden character in the game. In actual fact, it should read, You must defeat my Dragon Punch to stand a chance. In Street Fighter 2, the moves and special moves are performed by a series of directional inputs and timed button presses. This, alongside some unfinished frame data at the time of release, led to the player being able to cancel into certain moves, much to the developer's horror thus creating the combo system. But it actually made players more interested in the game. So much so, the developers made combos a main mechanic in the Street Fighter series going forward, as did every other beat-em-up that followed. With the second release of Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition, the fans were not satisfied with just being able to play as the four boss characters. This led to bootleggers hacking the game, calling it Rainbow Edition. The game ran at a much faster speed and featured crazy special moves. As a direct impact to this, Capcom acted fast and released Street Fighter 2 Turbo, which was a much faster game than the previous two iterations. Because of how popular Street Fighter 2 was in the arcade, it was no surprise that it had many home ports. One of the most popular being... <laughs> no, hold on a minute, that's the wrong clip. The Super Nintendo port, of course. Street Fighter 2 was the first ever home version on this system. It was released in 1992. It was Capcom's best-selling single software game for the next two decades and the company's best-selling game ever on a single platform, with more than 6.3 million carts being sold to this day. Street Fighter 2 will go on to produce five iterations of the game. The original being Street Fighter 2 World Warrior, Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition, which added the four playable bosses, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, which was much the same as Champion Edition, but with a higher speed increase and some new movesets. Super Street Fighter 2, the new challengers, adding four new characters to the roster, DJ, Kami, T-Hawk and Fei Long. And finally, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, which critically is the best and most polished version of Street Fighter 2 to play. This version saw the inclusion of Super Moves, which would continue throughout the series, as well as the inclusion of Akuma, who for the first time would be a secret playable character. This would also be something that would stick with the following games to come. So that's it, 5 fun facts in 5 minutes on Street Fighter 2. If you enjoyed the video guys, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe and the notification bell to get notified when all videos go live. If there's a game that you would like to see feature in this playlist, let me know and we can do 5 fun facts in 5 minutes on a game of your choice. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.